Time to get to work. <laughs> I am so excited. I hope you guys are excited. For fears to fathom. Greetings, fellow outsiders, and um, welcome back to the series. Here's to Fathom. This is a new game called Iron Bark Lookout. It looks like it's going to be a horror game based in a sort of campy setting, which is always fun, especially for the fall time. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have played the other episodes in the series on the channel, so you can look down below in the description and also probably in the comments for uh, <laughs> the other videos or the um, playlist that I have on this series. But Let's play! Here we go! Fears to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survived. We are playing episode four, and the fifth episode is coming soon. We don't know what it is yet. And it's going to be about two hours playtime. Let's go ahead and do it. New game. Fears to Fathom, episode four. Iron Bark, look out. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions. Oh, hey, <laughs> while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. <laughs> uh, what I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing, but I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Is this a siren head? Well, I won't get ahead of myself, so I just heard the, the call. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from the outpost to another one because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Two hours, you say? Hey, wow, this is so pretty. This is so nice. It says was to drive, but I, <laughs> I want to look over here at our RV. Wow, Rosenberg, four miles, space to get out. Oh, hey. <laughs> we have lyrics in this. Escape to read messages while we're driving? Of course. <laughs> Don't do this. <laughs> uh, messages, Mitch Scott. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving. Oh, wait, let me go up. All right, congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for the change? Just reaching to you to tell you that you've been assigned to Tower 11. Welcome on board. This is Mitch, by the way, from um, Ironbark. Thank you, I heard a lot about you from Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. I just got my ID today. I love how we're just stopped on the wrong side of the road here reading <laughs> our phone messages. This is so bad. Uh, okay, your shift starts on the 12th. Sound good. I'll be there at anything I need to know. Just have your papers and bring your ID. Josh told me this job is not news to you. Can I just ask one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Uh, I love the forest and being alone and also monsters. Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoy the thrill or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry. I just asked this question to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are or leave without notice because they're better off in a cute cubicle. Uh, to be honest with you, I joined Iron House last year not knowing what to expect, uh, but the solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. What is this song? Um, and I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. Good. I hope you fare better than the last lady. I hope so too. What happened to the last lady? Wait, can we get more information here? Where's the exposition? Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on a Friday, just park your truck around back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot, take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, you'll take a couple hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it, thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate, just show him your ID. Billy? Okay. Uh, let's do this. And then Kayla Nelson. The This new reg uh, regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Waking up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay, smiley face. 
I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely time for change. Speaking of change, and then we have our ID. Jack Nelson, Ironbark Fire Department, Fire Lookout, State of Washington. Are we, like, technically, like, trained as a firefighter, too? I feel like the training has got to be different for Firewatch, like, versus, like, city fire training. I don't know. Ironbark. Uh, they're staffing me to Ironbark next month. Uh, the one after Rosenberg? Yeah, I heard they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How's it looking? Why'd you say to call me then? Because two different dates. Uh, still on my way. Van decided to pull a flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. I'll be just fine. I got my music. I got the the sunset. Did you pass Rosenberg yet? No, why? Okay. And then I'm sure we're going to get more messages as we go. But instead of just parking in the middle of the road, it's so dangerous. We're just going to continue on. But you know what? We live for the thrill. I lived a very solitary life. Speed limit 25? I'm not going very fast, so I'm sure it's fine. I understand why it is. I wouldn't want to go off this uh, road. What if I get hit? Hold on. What do you think happens? I wasn't very proud of my driving. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Ah! Oh my god, this is intimidating. Ah! Stop! Bro, bro, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm out of your way. You know what? I think he was in the wrong. I was on the wrong side of the road, but he was being mean. <laughs> That actually scared me. I didn't know why he kept coming forward. Remember talking about love? What is this saying? I've always loved the great outdoors. It is quite pretty. This is a very scenic ride. And some seagulls and stuff. Are we near the water? Just being surrounded by that gave me happiness. I feel like I was at home at the woods. Kayla Nelson. All right, let's open this. Um, remember there's this diner while passing Rosenberg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. You really use a good meal before getting uh, the staffing starts. Thanks, Kay. Nice. Kay seems nice. Is Kay um, our sister or something? Considering she said talking to dad as if it were like our father. Okay. The music's slowly fading out, making me think that we're going to reach this diner pretty soon or a town can I explore any of these places should I explore it is Rosenberg do I need gas at all can I tell I remember I saw the diner Kayla was talking about and I also saw a car did I just did I just did I just? It's so bright, make my eyes hurt. I wanna talk, but I really can't fight her. her the lyrics fit so perfectly to that scene. Did I just like actually run somebody over completely? All right, I'm parked. This is parked. I'm parked. Not well, but I am parked. Oh, I can look at some stuff. Do I need that right now? Ah, huh. okay. We got some dish soap and some beer. Should mix those up. Presidential cliffhanger awaits Florida recount. All right. It's kind of nice. I like it. Well, I should be able to stop by the diner. Sorry I hit, like, everybody's car. Hey, can I talk to you? What's up with you? You're, like, destroying that burger. You know what? Should I even talk to you? How's that burger? I think I know how- I think, based on the sounds I'm hearing, I think I know how the burger tastes. It sounds very moist. Uh, where are you headed? Hmm. Which one should we go with? While we stare at this guy. Where are you headed? I feel like that'll give us more information. I'm from Rosenberg. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. What about yourself? Just passing through? I'm a new staffer at Ironbrook State Park. I feel like we can tell him that, maybe. Unless this is like not monsters and, and instead like murderers. 
but you know what? He's destroying this burger so much, he's not gonna wanna destroy us. So that's my logic. You must have heard the news then? What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's all, it's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's a rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Dude, the way you're eating that burger, I'm inclined to think it's you. Yeah, you know, like the Bigfoot or Goat Man? People say that there's something like that living in the forest. Do you believe it, or I should go? I don't want to exit. I, I kind of want to get more information. A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. I got an achievement for talking to the guy in the diner parking lot. I, oh, it didn't feel like an achievement. All right, goodbye. Is there anybody else here? I think we'll be okay. I mean, I could do like a lap around the town, going around town. But like, what's the likelihood that we're actually gonna be able to see people? Can I, can I, hi. Oh my God, I'm invincible. I'm invisible and invincible. Let's just go into the diner. I'm done messing around. I'm done goofing off. <clears throat> At the very least, we got one piece of exposition. Hi there. Can I have a burger, please? Welcome to Trin Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you or not too bad? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right there with you. All right, thank you. Uh, let me talk to everybody though. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be like next to this guy, but instead I'm behind him. So he's just going like this. You look a little lost. Um, you can see me, just tired or just passing through? Uh, just tired. And this place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. I'm always in the mood for coffee. As you can see, I usually go for a vanilla latte. That used to be my go-to for a while. But now I get, well, I, I drank a lot of like regular black coffee, but then I also like, if I had a special coffee, it was vanilla latte. I haven't had one in a while though. That's not important. So why, are, where are you headed? Uh, starting my new job at a nearby state park or that's none of your business. I don't know if this guy is trustworthy. I'm only seeing the back of his head, but I'm gonna just tell everybody my business. Uh, that's great. I didn't know those jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Sounds interesting, or do you like your job? Uh, do you like your job? Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It's me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive, or I don't think I could handle a job like that. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. It could be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. All right, what do you look like? Chin coffee! He's just pouring hot coffee onto his chin. Dude, he is downing it like crazy. Even I don't drink coffee like that, and I love coffee. <laughs> He's a fun dude. All right, we haven't met anybody too bad yet. Hi there. <laughs> Please leave me alone. Okay. Wait, but can I, but can I have a bite of your burger? <sighs> All right, one more time. One more time. <laughs> I'll leave him alone, I'm sorry. Hey, who are you? Are you Justin Timberlake? No. You're not. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up. I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Ironbrook State Park, uh, just down the road. Um, you know what? We've already told everybody. So is it true? Whatever they say. Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day. See, he, he's even rhyming. It's making it easier on me. Possibly, or we can't say, or what? Um, I don't know anything about this. I haven't gotten any text messages, have I? Uh, I'm just gonna say what? I need to go. Okay, bye Justin. Hey, suspicious? Suspicious? We have a s two sacks. We have two, we have two burlap sacks and a shovel and a sub and a striped shirt. How's the food, or do you mind if I join you? <laughs> do you mind if I join you? Maybe if we make friends with him, he won't bury us in the ground. Pretty long day at work, huh? 
Um, how's the food? Well, just like do nice neutral. He just stared at me. Can I talk to him again? Mind if I join you? He just stared at me. Hold on one more time. Uh, pretty long day at work, huh? He just stared at me. All right, have fun. Can I go back here? There's the chef. I suppose I just need to sit down, huh? I'm going to the restroom first. Oh. Hey, are we being nice and clean? Washing our hands before we eat? Crash can? Dry? Nice. Ah! It's best if we don't go into too much detail about the story. <laughs> Alright, glad I did that. The door was open? We left the door up. Uh, I'm in the toilet. I'm in the toilet. Alright, should we just wash our hands again? Let's wash our hands again. Sorry, I got- I can't believe I got jump scared by a pee stream. Well, that's a first. <laughs> Alright, now that we've done that, um, is there anything else we can do? No, we should probably just talk to this lady again. Uh, please take a seat, I'll be right with you. Uh, isn't it pretty quiet in here? Or you could- uh, could you point me to the restroom? I was just in the restroom. And I saw things I cannot unsee. Um, mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty quiet in here? It's been like that for a while now. Ever since the highway bypassed this town, things have been pretty slow. That's a shame. It seems like a nice place. It used to be, but times change, I suppose. Uh, could you point me to the restroom? It's right over there. No, it's not. You pointed the opposite direction. It's behind me. It's right here. I think she's messing with me. We gotta look at everything, okay? We gotta find all the secrets. Should I just go in the back corner? Let's just hide in the back corner. I hear crows outside. Space to get up. Maybe I should go in one where I can actually see the people of the thing. Wait, hold on. Let me sit in this one. Cause then I can see the, the patrons. Yeah, now I can spy on everybody. What does this say? <gasps> I can throw this? Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? No, I want to throw things. Okay, take your time, sir. I'll be right back. Thanks. Ah! Good evening. Barbara, I'm Barbara. I'm- are you re am I order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries? Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings? Ooh. Or meatball sub with chicken nuggets? want onion rings. Would you like anything to go uh, to drink? Large Coke, coffee, or strawberry slush? Um, they all sound good, but I'm gonna go with the coffee. I'm gonna go with the coffee, because I think we still have some driving to do. Perfect. Anything else? That will be all. Uh, thank you. That's it. Or no? That will be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Will do. Sounds good. Appreciate it. We'll be nice. I was in the process of throwing everything off of all of these tables, but I don't think it does anything. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna wait for my food. See, I don't know what's strategic here. Should I have, because if I sat at that other table, I would have been able to see the car. But here I get to see all the patrons. Is that my shadow or is that him? I think this guy is kind of suspicious, but I think these two guys that are in the booth are suspicious to me. The coffee guzzler is is okay, and Justin Timberlake is is a vibe, you know. Thank you. Thanks. Consuming. I love how it's just levitating. Hello. I figured it would be a while before I had a meal like this again. Can I just like drink the mayonnaise, please? <laughs> I'm like the coffee guzzler, except I'm possessing the coffee. Beautiful. Kayla Nelson, two text messages. We'll see it. Uh, so did you end up going? How was it? I'm here still eating. This is uh, so good. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Those onion rings sound so crunchy and good. 
Can I open this while I'm doing it? Told you, hee hee. This dude reminds me you should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. Might get a chance. Oh my god, he's moving. To let myself in, the art of cuisine is the new lookout. Wait, where did he go? To the bathroom? Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Too much happening! Yes. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the ch check, please? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Is he in the bathroom? He's in the bathroom! What is he doing in the bathroom with the shovel? Use your imaginations. <laughs> wow, yes, I'm on my way home. See, uh, send you in a bit. Sure. There's a car. Oh, here's the check. Your total is 6-6. Six, six. One more 6 and it would have been really scary. A 6-6 six, six and tip and a 50% tip or a 15% tip. Uh, you know what? We'll be generous. I liked you, Barbara. I liked you, Barbara. And you know what? It's an extra $3. It's $10. Get yourself uh, your own set of onion rings. Generous. Tip the waitress. Nice! I love it. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah! It feels good. Hey. That doesn't feel good. Where'd he go? Where'd the guy go? Who's in the bathroom? I have to see what's in the bathroom now. Anything here? <laughs> the carnage from me throwing all of the condiments around. I had to give her a generous tip since I caused such chaos in the diner. Um, okay. Let's see. Anything? I was done with it. Okay. You don't have to tell me twice. I just want to see what the guy was doing in here. I'll wash my hands anyway. Because the, the shovel man got up and went to the bathroom. We'll dry our hands. We'll be sanitary. You think he has like a peephole or something in here? You can have... Whoa. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Barbara. See you later. Uh, please take a seat, I'll be right with you. Wait. Uh, isn't it pretty quiet in here? Yeah, it's been like that for a while now. Oh, didn't I already say that? Okay, I'm assuming I can't sit down again. So yeah, that's it. Can I talk to these guys? It's down the road. <clears throat> all right, I think it's all the same dialogue, which means it's time for us to get on out of here. You guys see Shovel Man anywhere? I don't. Hey, is there a back way into the diner? Technically. Hey, Burger Man's still here. Is he gonna still be like... Uh, yeah. How's that burger or where are you headed? How's that burger? This little piece of heaven? Wait, let me get in character, ready? This little piece of heaven? This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Um, just passing through. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Goodbye. I love that guy. <laughs> He's so nice. All right. I probably should have closed the door, shouldn't I have? The bathroom was strangely... The bathroom door was strangely jammed. Don't. He's hiding. He's hiding. He's hiding in there. He's... He's so hiding in there. It's Shovel Man. He's obsessed with bathrooms. Can I look at this? Alright, anyways. Let's just get on the road. I'm totally not concerned about what's going on in the back. Maybe if we just, like, drive really sporadically. We'll, like, make him fall into the toilet. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Dude, okay, I get it. I'm bad at driving in games. Let's get back on the road. It's pretty chill, though. I really want to look behind me. <laughs> and that's why you look at the road when you drive? Okay, but there's a strange man in my bathroom. With two sacks. Alright, it's 8.02 p.m. Not too scary yet. It's kind of evening, but... Still got some light here. Can I get up? Wait, hold on. Let me get up. Because I want to see if the bathroom door is still jammed. Key to throw. 
Where's all this red light coming from? Is that from the back of my car? The bathroom door is strangely jammed still. Huh, there's some odd noises. Maybe there really is a creature. Or maybe it was the friends we made along the way. It's much more chill music now. It's kind of like lo-fi. I want to include the location of this park. I, but I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. <laughs> I want to keep looking behind me, but I can't drive and do it at the same time. Is this it? Do I go here? Oh, I should have taken it easy. Do I have to get out here? Let me check this one more time. It's still jammed. Is this where I'm supposed to go? This looks like it, right? Gold Creek Trail? Iron Bark Steak... Iron Bark Steak... <laughs> Iron Bark State Park. Welcome. What happens if I keep driving, though? Is there a little window to the bathroom? I need to know who's in the bathroom. Let me keep driving, though. I couldn't drive with the door wide open. Well, you could. You just don't want to. Maybe it'll stop me, though. That's probably what's gonna happen. I drove past the trail at first. What about what? Uh, but I want to keep going. Is it stopping me? I think it's stopping me. <laughs> I had to drive back to the trail. I'm sorry. Okay, you're punishing me for being curious. You're killing me like I'm a cat. Curiosity that your curiosity and I died. Let's try and actually park this well, right? We go here. And perfect. Okay. Now I should be able to get out, theoretically. Okay. Warning, parking by permit only. I think I'm permitted to park. Hopefully. Let's go to work. Oh, I left the door open. It's okay, Shovel Man needs to get out. I would prefer for him to get out. What's in these trash bags? Bodies? Fire extinguisher? Fashion authorized personnel only? Am I authorized? Do not block gate. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, the missing kids. Sanita Williams, Brittany, Spears. <laughs> Hugh Jasmine. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be off of like Hugh Jackman, like the actor, but the way that the name was replaced, he's just called Huge Ass Man. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, Iron State Park. What an unfortunate aim. I'm so sorry, little guy. Uh, please pick out all the trash you don't burn. Don't bury trash. Animals will dig it up. Switchback, shortcutting, destroys the vegetation. Please stay on the trail. Alcoholic beverages prohibited. I can't interact with anything. Cold Creek Trail. All right, time to get to work. <laughs> Whoa, holy moly. You, I scared you? Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. One of who? You scared me! And what do you mean? Hey, Lord, have mercy. Anyways, can I see your apartment, please? Uh, I'm not a camper. Or you're Billy, right? Uh, you're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. I was told to report here. Um, I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that- <gasps> Ah! Someone's in the back! It's Shovel Man! That's it! Shovel Man is in the back! Is that correct? Yeah- Oh! I didn't see her. Uh, no, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Dude, you missed it. You missed it while you were jump scaring me. Look at his cute little hat. He's such a little cowboy. What are you far for Halloween? Dude, you could have cleaned some of these. Oh! Okay, pal. 
You're good to get all staffed to Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Thank you very much. I'm scared. Uh, okay, let me open the trail gate for you, and then we have a tower key. Thank you. Can I snoop? I want to snoop. You have a cactus? The guy was walking out there, towards there. That's where I need to go. Parents of missing children, the three kids. All right, thank you. Since you're arriving this late, you may also need a flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy, or thought I might need one. Thank you, Billy. You be careful, take this. Thanks, Billy. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. That's enough, guy. I'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy, or have a good day. Uh, thank you, Billy. Can I talk to you again? No? Can I give you a kiss? Is that it? Is that a yes or a no? I mean... <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. And bears with bob cuts? <laughs> a haircut. Nasty business. You got it? See you around. You got it. Can I talk to you again? I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Where are you going? Wait, why are you going out there? Hello? Billy? I think Billy might be broken. <laughs> Alright, bye Billy. Have fun on your midnight walk. In place. Alright, time to go. I should probably try my flashlight, right? It helps kind of, but not too much. Foot trail, no bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. Only horses? I don't have a horse. Billy, I forgot- you forgot the horse. <laughs> okay, so we don't have to walk immediately. 11.32 p.m. It was a long hike and it was starting to get cold now. Brrrr. <laughs> Tower 11. Hey, we did it. Frequency 1559250. 1559250. Let's remember that. Tower 11. One. I'm just going to take a picture of it because I'm not. I'm going to try and repeat it and then forget it. 1559250. Okay, that's for us to know later. Do you think I've been followed? I bet the answer is yes. I think there's whales in this forest. So I keep hearing noises that are suspiciously whale-like. Can I get in here? Caution. No non-ionizing radiation. 19. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna have to remember any of that. What does this say? Iron Bark, Tower 11, left, Lacey Trail, right, Gold Creek Trail, down. Can we check out Lacey Trail first? Let's throw a caution to the wind. He's probably just going to say, I went the wrong way, and there were bears. Caution, bear in area. Bears are the cutest threatening animal. Uh, no, I lied. There are other really cute animals, too. But bears are, like, so adorable when they're not mauling things. That's why we have teddy bears. If not friend, why friend-shaped, as the internet would say. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Depends on how you live it, my dude. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. If you're an introvert, it sounds great. Okay, we got a bathroom. The door was open. Okay. Oh! 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 My microphone! And it's picking up the- <laughs> It's picking up the stream! Okay, dude. Are you done? I was done with it. Thank you. 
No, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to hide. Why is there so much noise? Shh. Why? Wait, hold on. Can I? You can still hear me. Oh, this is gonna suck. How do I make it quieter? There's so much like noise that was happening. Generator. Okay. And let me check what's over here first too, because I see a key or something. Is that just a light? Just a light. I know I have to um, do the one thing. Tell the guy that I made it or whatever. Hey, witch's broom. But I'm not gonna. To I'm not going to. There's a flashlight there. My hands were full. Are those matches? Just when I heard something. Binoculars. All right, let me go drop some stuff off, and then I can mess around with that. Let me see this trail first, though. Is there gonna be someone here? You know what? I'll just go up. I'll just go up. I'll do what I'm told. We can check out the trail later. It actually might be more fun with some binoculars and stuff like that, because we'll be able to see more. <clears throat> There's those forest whales again. Hey! Are whales called whales because they wail? That could be like akin to wailing. The sound. Huh. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. What about these fire dance moves? <laughs> Report. Hey, this is kind of nice. Uh, kind of cozy. Can I open the windows? I'm going to keep those shut. Or maybe I should open them because I can see more. Suddenly see more. Suddenly I can see more. <laughs> okay. Can we open these? Perfect. Nice. You know what? We can see the other towers. Might be more strategic to keep them closed, but... We're living life on the edge. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. All right, let me drop my thing down. Ironbark Fire Department. All lookouts must follow these rules while occupying this tower. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Oh, come on, man. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. Um, and then there's a map there. Prevent forest fires. Request comm support. Call John. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow, 2 p.m. That thing. Ask for extra supplies next week. Is that from the old guy who used to work here? Oh, wait. Let me put the bag down. Radio equipment was sitting on a wooden table. I can give the flashlight with me. There was another one downstairs, though, so we're going to have to remember that. Let me see what else is around here first. Osborne Fire Finder. It's like a giant compass the size of a pizza. Mmm, pizza. Uh, we use it to spot fire on the map. How do I use this? <gasps> do I do it with the matches and then I go... Bwah! My hands were full. Okay, put, that, put this down for a second. Wait, do I have a limited amount of matches? Okay, close, and then grab this. Is this gonna work how I think it is? No! Okay, I thought maybe we could use it to like, have like a makeshift flamethrower. That would've been pretty sick. Oh, we got gasoline? Oh! <gasps> Guys, I know what I'm doing today. I know what I'm doing today. didn't work. Oh man! Now I just have yellow floor and burnt matches. Alright, maybe I can put some gasoline in the microwave. Ooh, right mouse button to use. 
Can I see anywhere? Scroll to zoom. Oh. Is there anybody in there, you think? All right, nobody's in there right now. Maybe the other tower? Nice snoop. I want to snoop. Oh god, it's messing up so much. Oh, I can't see in there. Can I see here? Oh, uh, this is gonna get creepy, isn't it? Well, I'm not seeing anybody, so I think we're okay right now. I like the binoculars, um, uh, mechanic though. It's cool. Right mouse button to use. Knots. What is this for? Wind? Oh, okay. Got a bunch of cool new tools and a compass. Oh no, am I gonna get lost? Oh, if this game requires you not to get lost, that's just not in it for me. All right, let's do this. Um, what do I do? Beep boop. Beep boop. Ooh, rainbow, redos, CP, initializing a starting rainbow 98. Rainbow 98 Professional, user tower 11. That's a password. Check the Iron Bach rules flyer. Okay, I will. Static. Hmm, odd, okay. Iron Bach rules flyer. Issued by Iron Bach Fire Department. Oh, uh, uh, system password is Iron Bark, tower number. So it's Iron Bark 11. Isn't that also the name? Okay. Iron Bark 11. Nice. Console plague.exe. Well, we're not supposed to have video games, so what does that mean? Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to make the most the most of your computer day. Thank you. How can I make your day better? Give me a kiss. Surprise! You found me. How can I assist you today? Good evening, Tower 11. How's your day going? Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. How can I make your day better? I don't actually know. Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. The Grand Canyon in the United States is not only breathtaking, but also incredibly old. It's estimated to be around 6 million years old. Clickety click. Here's a random fact. Honey never spoils. How can I make your day better? Oh, uh, we get the Grand Canyon again. All right, nothing else. Um, we have employing training.mp4, but you know what? I think we should throw caution and do plague.exe first. Looks like you're ready to take on some zombies and have a blast. Good luck, aim for the head. I thought there were no video games allowed. Ah, 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 ah! Whoa! Too many zombies, too many zombies, too many. Okay, um. Uh. Oh no, the mouse is gone. Please. Ah! Okay. Well, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> Can you give me a better weapon for Plague.exe? Um, let's open up the console. Rainbow Corporation for command information type helped. Ready uh, to wield some digital magic. Type help to get a thing. Let me look at all this stuff first. Ironback Forestry Service. Welcome to the state of their art. Service reporting software. <gasps> yes? You guys haven't gotten your hey! I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Wait, who is this though, actually? Are you Shovel Man? Because we never got to hear his voice. Uh, who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Got it. Nice to meet you, Connor. Uh, you were watching? Isn't that the job? I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, sorry. His name is Connor Hawkins. What brings you to this towering paradise? I'm looking for a change or I'm really tired? I'm looking for a change. We're not gonna, I feel like this one's gonna end the conversation. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. Uh, I'm really tired. You got a fire going? Mm, no. Get her lit. The temperature's about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. The storm? Is there gonna be like a snowstorm or something? Or like just a 
regular storm. Um, okay, there's a bottle of wine here that was left by the guy. Nice. Um, so how do I do that? And then, but I also don't want to do that because I want to explore the computer. So let me explore the computer first. What does this say? So the art force uh, developed by Arnbark HQ, measure weather conditions with the provided equipment and log accurate data to be sent to the HQ for evaluation. Uh, so we're in 2002, 1132 PM. Temperature and Fahrenheit, wind speed. Oh, oh, I know how to do this. Wait, actually, except I don't, I don't know where the um, thermometer is. Number of hikers assisted, I think zero. Um, I'll have to do that before I head to sleep. Trail map, Tower 11, this is the Ironbark State Trail Map. Whether you're planning a hike, assisting hikers, or you just want to explore that park's beauty from the comfort of your screen, I'm here to help. This is gigantic. Are we really gonna be able to explore all of this? Probably not, right? Two arches, bear hat point, <laughs> bears in hats. Spy Rock, uh, Golden Ridge Trail, Mount Misery. Misery loves company. Uh, okay. Other than that, we have employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. Is that Jacksepticeye's voice? <laughs> you have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Yes, sir. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest. Parks I think the forest was probably established before then as a forest for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. Yes, I have. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard yes, work. Yes, it does. You will be working in our state of the art lookout <laughs> towers. And the following <laughs> it looks a little odd. you will have. Keep watch for fire. All right, eyes on the prize. The fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Smoke looks like this. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Thank you. Fires are best stopped before they Oh my god. <laughs> keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the panoramic press So-called scientists require us to know Hi. all changes in temperature. We think it's <laughs> best not to get into a lawsuit. <laughs> Keep records of daily wind okay. speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Also spreading it, right? Use the anemometer to anemometer. scientifically gather the data. In quotes. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Oh. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. Okay. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried Shovel about man. Your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Okay. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. <laughs> Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. Mostly. <laughs> I hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke... Don't joke! Don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> I'll remember that. Pee pee poo poo! Love that guy. <laughs> Top of the morning. Complete watching employee training video. All right, that confirmed it for me. So that was Jack Septimus voice. What a fun training video. Also, the one thing I took away from that is that it was like note of any threats, but I don't know that we're gonna have the opportunity to call 911 before Shovel Man comes near us. All right, Flash Drive Media. Plant interview. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh huh. Yeah. How does that work? Photosynthesize? Wow. Photosynthesis? Everyone's been wondering how's the marriage with the wife? 
Wow, this is... Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just Well, say? I didn't say anything. I'm a player. Oh, you piece of sh Technical difficulties, please stand by. Why is this auto flash drive on this computer? <laughs> All right, we have plant interview. We have Ron Ross, which is probably a Bob Ross thing. Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross. Hi. Represent our demons in this. Wow, this is so artistic. That was cats. <clears throat> I don't remember the musical being quite like that. All right. Uh, Iron Box Story Park. I already looked at all that. And then I looked at everything. I can look at the bin, maybe. Can I look in it? No? Disc folder. Well, I think that's it. Maybe I can talk to this guy again. Surprise, you found me. How can I assist you? Clickety, clickety, click. Uh, Amazon rainforest produces 20% of the world's oxygen. It's often referred to as the lungs of the earth for its crucial role in generating the oxygen we breathe. Okay. Um, so from that, I think what we should do is um, go and take some of the readings that we need to do. This gasoline that I poured was not my best idea in the world. Um, so I need this thing, right? So how many knots do we have out here? 20. 20 knots. All right, throw that. <clears throat> and we report it here. 20. Uh, we've assisted zero hikers. I don't know that we need, well, maybe we'll see them. Temperature in Fahrenheit, that's something we need to look at. Um, but I don't know where the thermometer is. Did you light it up yet? Oh, no, I didn't. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Oh, you, you, the entrance of my thing. And outside. Where's the thermometer, though? I want to do a good job. It's my first day. I got to impress the, the people. I don't know how to record the temperature. And if it's down below, I'm not, I'm not going to go down. Uh, Osborne Firefinder. I know, but there's a thing there. All right, anyways, uh, let's do this. 
I need wood though, don't I? I need wood. I need wood. Can I burn my things? Probably not. Let's go start a fire. Oh, I can't. So how do I start the fire then? I didn't start the fire. It's not been burning since I started this job and... What? See to crouch? Why am I crouched? Oh, that's why. Great. I'll remember that. All right, can I just put this in here? Just everywhere. That looks pretty good. That looks like it should happen. I had to report for tonight. Yeah, but I don't know where the temperature is and you won't let me go downstairs. Ooh, brr. Can I have this? My hands were full. This isn't going well. Maybe baked beans? Oh, there was no firewood. I just had to close it to trigger something. I was walking around here trying to like, every, trying to everything to light it. But there's no firewood. Bro. You lied to me. There's no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? Staffer, who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Okay. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay, gasoline must be in my cabin. Wait, what do I why do I need gasoline to get firewood? For the thing? To pour it on Shovel Man? Always burning. Uh I'm just gonna leave the gasoline here so that I can have one accessible to me up here. Cause I did notice that there were supplies down here. Oh, I'm creeped out. Do you think he's in the bathroom? No, he's not. It's a one-way bathroom. Okay. One-way porta potty mirror is what I meant to say. Can I do this somewhere? Always burning. Bear spray! It was bear spray! That's what that is. Okay. Oh, firewood. All right, G to throw, left mouse button. To place in the stove. Ooh, the wind is picking up. That's a rock. I wonder what kind of storm we're gonna get. I like genuinely want us to have like a really nice, like cozy storm, even if something scary happens. Be nice to have the ambiance, you know? Okay. Nice! And my marinara and baked beans are in there now. Needed to light it up. So light it up, up, up. Light it. Did you hear breathing? Where'd I put the matches? Ugh, I gotta stop throwing things everywhere. <gasps> Found them! Hello? Needed gasoline? Dude, there's gasoline all over your all over your place right now. Like just literally everywhere. Okay, did that do it? Hey. Uh, <gasps> I see the smoke. Okay. Cool. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Yeah. Don't freeze it like that. That means that I might die. Did you report for the night yet? No, not yet. I don't know how to take the temperature. Can you tell me how to take the temperature? I've done everything except that. No, let me get to it. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, I no, I wouldn't. Mitch can be a real bitch. <laughs> Sorry. It was too, it was too fun not to say. Um, but the problem is, is that I don't have a thermometer. 
All right, it's like 28 degrees. Uh, we use it to spot fire on the map. Yeah, I understand. Wait, my helpy friend is gone. Console help. Available commands for help. Check for available system. Check for current version. Install system update with package code. Closes the console. What if I update? No system update available. No system update. Current package version 2.0.7. 2 All right, we close the console. <gasps> Thermometer! Temperature is 46.7. That is so specific. All right, service reporting 46.7. Finally, I found it. 46.7, 20, cloud, zero, we're done. Good night. That's it. Is it supposed to be misty tonight? I had to report, I'm trying to. <gasps> I have to scroll down. What's my name? Eliane. Wasn't sure if I put in the right weather condition. Is it mist? Submit. Is it wind? Is it rain? Is it clear? <gasps> it's not clear. Do a copy? Tower 11, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Okay, me too, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, dear guy. Goodbye! Don't let the bed bugs bite. There are bed bugs? Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Good night, over and out. Um, good night, Connor. All right, we should be fine, right? Maybe? We lock the door. Well, anyway. Lights off. I think it's time to go to sleep. Woo! It was hard to find the thermometer. 3.26 a.m. Why am I waking up? Unintelligible? Is this a nightmare? Unintelligible? What's going on? Left mouse button to sleep. Can I just, like, literally just go back to sleep? I had to pee. Wait, but what about this? Static? Connor? Oh, that's not Connor. Oh, dude, just pee out the window. Just pee in the fireplace. Where's the flashlight? Where the fireplace? I mean, where'd the flashlight go? Oh, this is not good. Oh, I have it. Okay. My first night being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Yeah, it would me too. I think I'd be a little, at least a little bit creeped out here. Even if you do enjoy some solitude and stuff, having a new environment. I'm gonna pick this up too, because I want to look out here first. I always made sure the door was locked before I headed to bed. Because I can actually see down here. Doesn't look like there's anyone in there. I have to go down here. I think that's the fire roaring. Is there gonna be anybody? All right, I think the game will tell me when I need to use the binoculars. So for now, I'm just gonna leave them. I figured it was a safe bet to try and use them here. Just in case. Just in case there was someone waiting for me down below. You had to pee, though. Y you said you had to pee. We've done so much peeing in this game. Okay, that's closed and locked. Weird. Night two. <gasps> Oh, it's so nice! It's just you and the wind and time just melts away. Oh, look at that coffee and this view! It's like a dream! There's the one tower over there. Seems awful windy tonight. Oh, so nice! Oh, right, mouse button to sip? Okay. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Can I look around at all? 
a mouse button to take a photo. Okay, let's get a nice, oh, we got the birds, ready? Wait for him to like get right, perfect in shot. And now. Oh, and can I scroll to zoom? Ooh. Wait, can I actually like see anything here? No? All right, we'll take it, we'll do it like this. This is nice and artsy, right? There we go. I didn't get the birds, but. Having a nice cup of coffee. This is quite peaceful. I like this. Can we keep it like this? Left mouse button to take a photo. Should I just take a photo of this guy? This guy's cabin? Ooh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna do this cabin though. <laughs> Since we get another opportunity to take a photo. There's gonna be someone in the camera one time. Space to get off? Okay. What do you mean? Oh, was I sitting on this? Is that what you meant? Okay. <laughs> I like the music a lot. Do you copy? I do copy. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? I do copy. I have a copy machine. Yes? Space to get up. Tower 11. Do you copy? Uh, copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Uh, what did I do? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh. Mm, let me have a look. So I have to get up and grab the compass. Uh, let me throw that. I need this and then this. My hands were full? With what? My ha I have- what? Okay, what's north of my position? Smoke goes white- oh! Was white indicative of a campfire. Okay. Yeah, I'm coming! Connor, I'm coming! Hold on! Can I see anything? Okay, that's definitely smoke. I can't see anything though. I'm coming, I'm coming, Connor, please. That white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. it appears to be in the lazy trail sector. Okay. It is not a registered campsite. Okay. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Mm, Cause they're in places they shouldn't be anyways. Fire risks are high this season. Okay. Mind checking it out? Okay, heading north, I'll uh, report back on it. Yes, do you have any other detail? Uh, is it safe? We'll just say yes, is there any other detail? Because I feel like if we say is it safe, he's just going to say it's like bears or something. No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lacey Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. All right, heading north. Stay safe out there. Thank you, Connor. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in the woods, new guy. <laughs> Over and out. Okay. Bear spray. Um... My bear spray is not here. I'm gonna bring my flashlight just in case we need it, if I can carry two things. I can. So I got my bear spray. I got this. I'm gonna close this door. Maybe lock it, except I don't have the option to. Um, and get on our merry way. We're gonna have to use the bear spray on the guy. I wonder if there's multiple endings. I just realized that. Like if one we can like, sh Get him with the bear spray. I was on the wrong trail. No, I wasn't. What? I wasn't going the wrong way. Um, or another one where we like hide in the bathroom and like poop our pants, you know? <laughs> I don't know how that ends the story, but you never know. All right, uh, gold creature, lacy trail is over here. This is the one I tried to go to the first night and it said there were bears. Maybe we'll actually see bears here. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, huh? 8.37 p.m. See, I'm glad I brought my flashlight. I followed the trail uh, that led me to the smoke. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Bear spray. No camping. I love Jen. She... I'm not reading that. Violators will be sighted and moved, okay? I have to move them? Do you think it was bears or do you think it was someone else? Kayla Nelson? Wait, what? 
Whoa! All of the stuff. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This food reminds me, uh, recipe. Sorry, just got home. There's the pizza thing. Uh, you'll wait. Is this actually something? Uh, you'll not believe how easy this one is to throw together. Did you reach out, send pics uh, when you do? Oh, maybe I can do this. Wait, uncooked. Oh, wait, I think I can actually. Wait, I'm so excited about cooking this pasta bake. Um, I think I can do this because there was uncooked pasta in that thing. So we'll do that when I get back. Did you reach out? Send, send pics when you do. Jack, are you okay? Hope everything's okay. Reply back. Sorry, Kay, I don't think my sector has very good service. We sent those to view from my tower. Oh, and they're the ones we actually took. Thanks for the recipe. You might try it tonight. And then nothing else from Mitch, from Mitch. So we're good. Okay, that's not a very good thing though that our phone doesn't have service, like where we need it to. Closest tower, tower 11 with that frequency. Or right, we're spraying everything so the bears stay away. Huge machete. Oh my God, someone's whistling. I had to put it out. Bear spray. Bear spray. Oh, water. Right? My hands were full. <gasps> there was someone. Step out here. I don't think I want you to, actually. Anybody there? Show yourself. Show yourself. We're being brave. The area behind the site was closed. I didn't even notice him until he was almost gone. Oh God, why is it so bright? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm gonna drink this entire pond. Okay. We did hear a guy scream though. Are we not gonna like report that or anything? Pick up the bear spray. Ah! Does bear spray work on humans? Humans are like small weird bears. I don't think I can pick that up. Even if I didn't have my hands full. There's some gasoline. Should I go back here? Area behind the site was closed. Oh, I'm so nervous. Bear spray? All right, time to go. I guess we're not relocating those campers. Are we not gonna report that they're missing? I guess we can. Cause we just have our cell phone. Oh God. Stop it. Oh my God, 9.07 PM. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might've happened. It's loading. Ooh. Okay. I have a feeling we should just hide. I don't know about you guys. I have a feeling we should just hide. Is it time for hiding yet? We were definitely being followed. Like, should I just go in here? Wait, should I just stay hidden here? Oh, I should get out, shouldn't I? Is the whistle I hear it coming from over here on the left? Oh my God, I hate it so much. He's behind here. Why can't I see him? Oh, 
Oh god, I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so taunting. I gotta get my binoculars. My binoculars. Do you turn off your flashlight, actually, though? Hold on. Ah! <laughs> He's definitely down there somewhere. Okay, before I get my binoculars, we're playing this save. This isn't fun. This is scary. Are all of this shut? No, they're not. Okay, I can't get that one. I have to go all the way back around. Is the whistling getting any, any closer? I feel like I do have to be strategic here. I had to report to the Connor about the recent campfire. But I gotta get the binoculars, don't I? I hope there's a save system. He was whistling from over here. And I couldn't see him, so I figured maybe... Maybe we could see him with this. Oh god, I hate it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm so terrified. All right, we're playing it safe. Hello? Oh, wait, I shouldn't do this. Service reporting? Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant, here to make the most of your computer today. You found me. How can I assist you? I'm going to go service reporting. Um, okay. Service. Yeah, 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 I got it. I got it. Um, number of hikers assisted? I think one, technically. But I'll put zero, because I don't know that we technically assisted them. Anyway. God, I'm s I hate it. Is that Connor whistling? Connor, do you copy? Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Hey. Uh, talk about campsite. Ah, sorry. Are you kidding me? Son of Sorry, I accidentally clicked through that. What do you mean, or what are you talking about? Um, what are you talking about? Has this been happening a lot? Hmm. Uh, mention scream. No, this was a human. <laughs> it was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately. <coughs> Excuse me. Three kids. kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. Uh, what does that have? What does that have to do with the campers? What happened to those kids? Why would campers be attracted to the site where kids went missing, though? That seems really odd, unless they were part of, like, a search party. Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entity. Oh, so they're, like, ghost hunters? It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Okay. Yeah. I only wish they were true. Instead of the more gruesome truth? Well, Uh, that is unsettling. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Um, the, you mean about the entity? I think it's a real person coming after me, so I'm gonna say, oh, absolutely not. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. We yeah. We contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. Okay. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Not these goons. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Alright, keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. So the only bad part about this is I have to go out to check the knots. Otherwise, the temperature is 47.8. 47 point eight. Wind speed, number of hikers, and then reported by Alien. Alien. Um, wind speed is the last thing we need, and then we can guess the weather condition because I don't know what it is. It looks like it's probably clear, right? Kayla Nelson. Oh, the pizza pie! The pizza bake! Looking at that photo makes my stomach roll. As a matter of fact, they let me try the recipe now, but it's not delivered. So what does it say? So jelly of that view. By the way, look at what I did when I got home. Mom made me the casserole recipe today. All right, so let's do this casserole recipe while we're being stalked by a uh, whistling ma'am. Um, so we got uncooked pasta, right? G. Can I just, like, do this? 
No. <gasps> Casserole dish! At this point I was starving? Yeah! Wait, where did I put the marinara sauce? Oh, it's here. We get to make a casserole, casserole, casserole. Uh, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and diced tomatoes. All right, pepperoni. Uh, that's not. Uh, that's not. I can't see anything. Oh, pepperoni. Okay, um, diced tomatoes and mozzarella cheese is the last things I need, right? Let's do it. What is this? This is burr. Uh, sliced ham? No. Mozzarella cheese. I hate that you can just continuously hear the whistling here. Sardines? Yummy! Uh, I think that's like chicken or something. Baked beans? Baked beans? Eggs? I just broke all of them. Uh, crispy potato? Uh, diced tomatoes! That's what I need. All right, I think that's it, right? Uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. Place them in, bake at 420 for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay. Put it in. Can I set this to 420? <gasps> Blaze it! Is that done on purpose? But now I can't hear whistling, man. No. No. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay. It's a loud oven. Uh, I didn't mean to do this. Let me go back. Yeah. Uh, Connor? Oh, what did they say? That's relieving. Yeah, I'm not sure they made it out of the forest tonight, Connor, but that's, you know, a nice thought. Okay, that's the duty I chose. <laughs> Speaking of duty, I gotta go take a poop. Uh, I was just getting to it, or I forgot. I was just getting to it. You got it. Show you what. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Sounds good. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Uh, thank you, Connor. My pleasure, or I'm really tired. Um, thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Uh, over and out. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is check the wind, right? So let's do it. Hold on, I'm gonna crouch first. When does that 20 knots? I'm so nervous because I don't want to die. When does that 20 knots? Okay, come on. Can I turn this light off, by the way? So that he doesn't see me. Um, okay, here we go. 20. I, I know, help the person. 20 knots. And we should be good. Is it clear? Wasn't sure if I put in the right right weather condition. Cloudy, okay. Nice, alien. Clear. Wait, what? Did I do it wrong? Anyways, there's Connor. All right, what if I do it? Am I supposed to do it like faster? I guess. Is there anything in the bin, by the way? Can I move anything in there? I don't think so. Nothing new in the flash drive. Employing training, I'm assuming, is the same. Console. Let's try this first. Check update. No system update available. One time I bet we're gonna have to update it. I wonder why else there would be the console here. Um, okay. Wait, what did that say? Report submitted. Oh. Static. Is this done? Nice. I just remember the fresh sizzling uh, things. My hand were full. I liked eating in bed. <laughs> nice. Where's my bed? All right. I still hear the whistling. 
Should I kept the windows open? Would we have been able to see someone walking if I kept the windows open? We can still kind of see the shadows. Forest fires. I don't like the continuous whistling. I was already full. Right, where should I put this in the fridge? I could have kept it in the refer- Okay, I get it. Can I put these back? My hands were full. Anybody out there? Bedtime? It was getting cold. <sighs> Dude! <gasps> I have to go down and get fire? I have to go down and get fire? I have to go down and get wood? Oh no. That's where the guy is. I should have brought wood with me. Oh no, should I bring the bear spray? I should, shouldn't I? Where did I even put it? I made a mess. Bear spray? Anywhere? Oh no, did I lose it? I feel like that's something I shouldn't have lost. <gasps> bear spray! Okay, it was right next to the door. Oh, wait, before though. All right, I'm putting it right there, remember. I just want to look. Oh, there's a shower over there. Not seeing anybody. I just had to check. And I'm taking the bear spray with me. Even if I have to leave it down there. I still think it's better to have something to defend myself with. Okay. Oh, I'm not good with these tech kind of games. Run, run, bathroom. to be concerned here. Should I just go upstairs? Is it not time yet? Oh God, I'm so scared. One of these times I'm gonna have to book it, I think, to the bathroom and not because I need to go, but because I'm hiding. Okay, need to light it up. Light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. Um, I need to use, yes, that's how you're, that's not fire safety actually. Um, and here we go. Anybody out there? No. All right, bedtime? Well, 
I know I sometimes I get ahead of myself, but it's because I'm like, I, I feel like I got to strategize for these 227 AM. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drop open. Oh no. Oh no, there's no place for me to hide. There was something very strange about that night. Yeah, I'd say. It's Shovel Man. It's Shovel Man. Oh! Uh, ah! What are you doing? Are you setting a bear trap or something? did <gasps> oh what happens if I open this I didn't know what to make of it at the moment uh I do get out quit report it I don't know seems like someone's trying to intimidate you can I do anything here can I talk to Connor Connor, do you copy? Um, I need to talk to you, it's urgent. You there? Any idea what time it is? Um, there's something outside my door. That's more urgent. Mention the skull. I don't think these are kids messing around. Um, this is serious, you don't understand, do you? What happens if my dead body shows up tomorrow? We're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, that's my point. That's my point exactly, Connor. Here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For okay. Now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. Okay. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. All right. Uh, thanks or good night, Connor. Oh, I, I've been putting my name down as Alien in the thing, not Jack. <laughs> They're gonna think I'm not doing my job. Uh, thanks. Connor didn't make any sense. Is there anything else I can do? I mean, should I go down and check it out? Does it auto save me? Is it worth the risk? Oh, that's actually in the game. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be exploring out here. Maybe the guy really is still around. Oh, is that the fire? That's the fire. Oh, I'm really nervous. Hello? Nobody's in the bathroom. The door was open. <laughs> Why is this all that I'm doing in the game? <laughs> I'll give him his privacy. You done? Okay. I was done with it. Cool. Oh God, now I'm seeing things in the woods that aren't actually there. All right. Well, what a lovely night. What a lovely night. I don't think I can do anything with that. Can I set it on fire? You know what, let's not try it. Let's just go to bed. Right mouse button to hide? Wait, did you see that? Oh, there's so many places I can hide. Night three. Next day, I woke up not being sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Hold right mouse button to use. Why? 
I actually had most of my days either with a simple maintenance or around the tower. Dude, you gotta clean these binoculars by scanning the densities of the trees around me. Oh, left mouse button to clean. Oh, thank you. My paranoia for these woods only grew faster, or grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Now we gotta make sure this is like extra clean. Ah! Okay, clean. Oh, someone left a flare. That means that they need help. Okay. Zoom. Do you not see the flare? Um, hold right sp space to go back. I threw it off the tower. I threw it off the tower? No, I didn't. You did. I didn't do that. All right, let me do my tasks. Oh, I don't trust this dude. I need help. Okay. Someone answer. Are you a person? Temperature is 56.5. All right, this takes priority. I don't feel comfortable facing my back to an open door. You know what, dude? Smart. That was smart. Okay, ready to wield some digital magic? Hold on. Service reporting. I lost the temperature. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 56.5. 56.5. That way I don't have to do this later, right? Uh, oh, but we have to assist a hiker. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll remember that. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh, I hear you loud and clear. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. Uh, take a deep okay, breath. Okay. What's going on, or what's, this, what's the situation? I don't even know where to start. Explore the area and lost track of time. Okay. You know, it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Okay. I think I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What equipments do you have with you? Um, I don't, he's lost, so I don't know that he knows his current location. We can ask him his equipment or describe the clothing. With the clothing, we might be able to... Well, this might be useful for us later because if we see somebody and it's not this guy, we can use that information later. So let's do this one. Red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Red jacket, camo pants, green backpack. What equipments do you have with you? What's your current location? Uh, what equipments do you have with you? A flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. Okay, what is your current location? I'm in surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. Okay. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. I saw that. Well, I just didn't trees and help. Make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you describe your surroundings? Do you remember any landmarks? What direction are you facing right now? Um, describe your surroundings. I remember, trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh, let me write this down, because we have a map over there. Okay, so, uh, trees, small stream, earlier, what direction are you facing? Towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Towards west. Okay, got it. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Uh, let me scan... Yeah, let me scan the map and get back to you. What are these noises, by the way? Hello? Oh, wow. Fancy, weird music. Um, where's the map? Here? Oh, it's on here. I rock map trail. What is this sound? Hello? I'm trying! Hold on! Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, wait, hold on. Pause, just don't go anywhere. Okay, so trees, small stream, tower, uh, small stream. So there's Gold Creek, um, Gold Creek t Trail, Mount Misery. Uh, and he was walking east, but he's going towards west. What is this music right now? Stop. Okay, so if he passed a thing, I'm thinking it might be the one between Mount Misery and Gold Creek Trail. You know what I mean? But it could also be the one near the old radio tower. 
Uh, where did I see the flare from? Where did I see the flare from? I'm tower two. Let me see where I, where the flare was from. Hold on. Dude, just give me one second. The flare. Let me pick this up. My hands were full. No, they're not. Okay, so the flare... Where did I come from? Was it here? I think it was here. Okay, so that's west. That's west of us. Because I don't think it was over here, because I don't remember seeing that. So if it was over here, that's west of us. Um, so let's look at the map again. So it was west of us. We saw him. So it must be this. And he was walking towards west, which also doesn't make sense. But he's passed a small stream. I think, I think, okay, I think he's west of us. I think there's the parking there. I think it's on that Logan Trail. He passed the small, the Gold Creek, that small stream. I think what it is, is it's right here. The Logan Pale, uh, Trap, uh, Trass, <laughs> Logan Pass Trailhead. So I think if he's right here at this intersection and he's coming from here towards west, then he needs to go to the left trail to get back to the parking. So that's what I'm going to do. Left trail to get back to the parking. Now, but I, can't remember if I, should take the right I think trail this is right. The left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Back to the trailhead? Well, this is back to the parking. <laughs> I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I hope that's right. I have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Uh, making decisions in the... I hope you get back to the trail. I hope you go back safely. I really am going to feel bad. Is he gone? Wait, what do you mean? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I hear your whistles. That's not me. <gasps> no, that's not me. That's not me. Run. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You freaking me out. <gasps> Hide. Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? I was scared for my life. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker, just fi finishing up on a report or nothing much. I was assisting a lost hiker. This hour, uh, hey, the God be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Thank you. Oh my god, what if it's him? What if he's in on it? What's your name, Mitch? Mitch? What were you doing there last night? Uh, what do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. How did he know that I was there? I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. Are you sure, Mitch? You should be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would not uh, that would love to get a piece of you. Don't say that. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Uh, mention the skull or just getting used to the new environment. You know what? I'm not sure I trust Mitch. 
I mean, maybe the game is just throwing me a red herring with him, but I'm a little bit suspicious of him because, like, how did he know I was up north if Connor didn't tell him? And if Connor told him, he would have told him about the campfire and I wouldn't have had to tell him about it. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to lie to him. That's a spirit. Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up north yesterday? Oh, I have to tell him. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? Uh, was that an option? You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. You're creeping me out. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Bye. See you later. Should I close the windows? I feel like I probably should, right? Because it's getting kind of late. I also got to check the wind knots. I was too hungry. Oh, to go downstairs. All right, let me close these, though. We'll keep, like, two open or something. So that we can see people walking. We'll keep, like, this one open. I feel like that's an okay one to keep open. Except it has a prime view of our bed if we hide in it. You know what? I want to survive. I want to survive, so we're going to keep these shut. Because I have a feeling that's going to make a difference. As to whether or not the uh, murderer can actually see us. I don't think we can make it the casserole again. Because we've done everything everywhere. Um, but maybe... Oh, we can't do anything with Kayla. I would be really concerned if I couldn't contact anybody here. I mean, I know there's the radio and stuff, but, you know, just another level of safety, I guess. Um, oh, wait, let me do the knots. Okay, what is it? 25. All right, 25 knots. Uh, and I already did the temperature right earlier. Oh, wait, should we try and talk to the hiker, too? Oh, what's her name? Jack. Um, number of hikers assisted, one, I guess. Uh, and this is 25. All right, other than that, we're pretty good with that. Um, should we do clear? <laughs> I wasn't sure I had the right weather condition. Mist. Wind. Wind. Okay, Ironbach weather, forestry... There we go. I finally got the name right. Jack. Hikers assisted one. For now. Can't talk to him again. And we haven't heard from Connor in a little bit. Okay, so what do I do here? Uh, oh, do I open the supplies? Can I open these? All right, dinner time. <laughs> uh, hello? All right, I think I've lost those supplies for now. Oh, my leftover casserole. Okay, can I eat? The food was cold. Okay, dude. Cold casserole can still be good. Okay, can I get my <laughs> supplies out now? There we go. Beep boop, <laughs> set to 420. <laughs> Oh god. What's out there? Looks like there's something out there. I'm gonna keep the lights off. Just in case. Also, it's kind of like nice mood lighting, actually. I liked eating in bed. I know, boo. I knew, boo. I knew. I remembered. The shoe sounds are always right in your ear. How lovely. Okay, still not seeing anything? I think we're okay. Our last bite. I was done with it. Can I put this in the sink now? Okay. And now time for Betty Bye. Except I bet he's gonna tell me I need to go get firewood. Ah, oh, dude, just prepare at night. Just prepare at night. Go 
goodness gracious. Also, did I get that guy killed? Did I accidentally give him the wrong um, thing or whatever? The wrong advice? And that's why he got... He ran into Whistle Dude? Or was that scripted? Because I'm going to feel really bad if I did that. They don't hear any whistles. Oh, cool! Oi! Just everywhere. Just all over the- just everywhere. This is your own private bathroom after all. What am I doing? Alright, let's get the firewood. It's a little less creepy without the whistles, but I say that now. You stay right there! You stay right there! I was gonna get the bear spray. You just gave me a heart attack. <sighs> I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. Who are you, Silas? No need to be alarmed, I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance in the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi uh, the, to the new guy that everyone's been talking about. Uh, do you usually work this late or nice to meet you? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. Uh, thank you for that, but th no thank you for scaring me. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places, wouldn't you agree? You're talking in riddles. You're talking in so many riddles right now, and I don't like it very much. I don't know why you're here, and I don't really trust that you're a worker. Uh, right, we rely on information about the fire sightings. I agree, fire risks are high this season. Um, hmm. Maybe this one. Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What are you talking about? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. Are you starting forest fires? And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. Dude, I should head back to the tower now. It's getting late, or I'll see you around, Silas. <laughs> I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead you to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. There's something wrong with Silas, but he's got a nice kick in his step. This guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Yeah, I was about to pepper spray him with bear spray. Alright, let's just go. I should just drop my flashlight and pick up some more fire. But it is what it is. Alright, bye Silas. Weirdo. Do you see anybody else around here? Was he distracting me while someone hid in my cabin? I wonder if that's what happened. Hopefully not. Okay, we always close and lock the door first. Need to light it up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. Perfect. Yeah, baby. I hear smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. I'm not, uh, what? New guy. Yeah. You there? Yeah. What if I just go to sleep without talking to Connor? Uh, I did already submit the report, so I'm good from that front. You copy now. Uh, this is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Um, went down to get firewood, but I also ran into Silas downstairs. Should I mention Silas? I'm going to mention that. Ran into who? The guy maintaining the nearby radio tower? The nearby radio tower worker. The guy maintaining it. Is this about yesterday? Wait, what do you mean? Is there not a Silas? I see, I told you. Uh, what do you mean? The radio tower's been out of service for ages now. Uh oh. The repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name, though. He knew your name? You think he's been listening? <gasps> Through the radios? Possibly, I'm not sure, or I don't know. Possibly. By the way, disguising as a staff member. 
are strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Okay. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Dude, I asked his name and it's kind of rude to just go up to someone and be like, <laughs> I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already I don't know how to take a picture though. Like just unprompted. All right, you hit the sack, Connor. Uh, good night. Or yeah, me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night, over and out. All right. Um, is there a way I can take a photo? I can't. Not that I know of. There's crouch. But no, no way to take, oops, a photo. So hopefully it'll give me the prompt if I need to. Uh, right mouse button to hide. Can I hide? I'm gonna get up first. I think we're just gonna go to sleep because I think it's gonna wake us up. But let me check this first. All right, I think we're good. Time to sleep. And have dreams about Silas. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause any alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Is this like dead of night? No, not too late, 9, 18 p.m. <gasps> Rain! Uh, sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Ah, oh, nice. They wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important <laughs> security update. Cool. No more snoopers, I guess. No more snoopers? Thanks for letting me know. How do I update the computer? What is this about? Um, I want to say, what is this well, about? They say they've optimized the reporting software, improved the communication system, and some much needed security patches. Okay. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. How do I update? Well, I already know, but. All this new technology is not really my thing. Did you not update, Connor? There I say it. These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. <laughs> Aww. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I definitely don't think something like Firewatch. Well, I say that, and then there's probably going to be some AI that comes out in the next, like, five to ten years or something. But, like, I feel like a Firewatch is something that requires, you know, somewhat of a human touch. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Alright. Should we just do it? I keep hearing noises. Uh, console. Let me update first. Um, help. Update. Please enter the update package code? What is the update package code? Did he tell me that and I just don't know? Also, what's in the bin? What's in the bin? Update package code. Did I miss that? Is it somewhere here? Is it just Iron Bark 11 or something? Well, while I'm here, I can um, do some of the required things. Zero knots. Okay, it's zero and it's rainy. Sir, uh, try updating system. Okay, so what do I do? The fire's already going tonight, so we won't have to go down and get firewood. Check update. Three updates found in total. Filtering. Oh, is this what I have to do to get it? Package version of this. Severity unknown. Product Rainbow OS. Okay. Security pack version 5468. Three updates found. Well, should I check version? Next. Eggs version 2.07. And then update. Please enter the update package code. Oh, okay, this is what I need. So I need 4346084. Package found. Nice. Serviceable lines, busy lines. Please enter an active line. What if I do a busy line? Line not available. All right, let's do, um, let's do five. Oh, wait, serviceable lines, it says wrong. Oh, wait, there's three busy lines. We have to choose the one that's not. I was like, wait, I thought there were several lines total. There's only four lines. Uh, five, nine, eight, seven. Line not available? Oh, which one is? Oh, it's five, four, eight, seven that's available. There we go. Hey, new update, it's green. <gasps> oh, 
Oh crap. Power was out. Oh crap. That's why I could go down. Can I just hide? <laughs> I know I gotta be brave, okay? Um, where's my flashlight? Flashlight, please. Forgot to turn the generator on at first, but I feel like you might want to pick up a flashlight. I feel like that's probably something you want. But hey, to each their own. Oh, maybe we don't want to use the flashlight in the rain? Is that like the cannon reason? Generator ran out of gas. Isn't there gas down here? Be sure there is. Also, isn't this a separate generator? Okay. Ooh, I'm nervous. It was getting cold out and I had to pee. <laughs> this game is like 90% pee. Okay, everything's back on now. You think somebody went up into my tower while I was gone? No? Okay. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover this area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I had to do was check, on, uh, check in on t Connor twice a day. That may have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. Oh, no. I'm not going out at, like, 3 a.m. Jack. Jack? Jack? Jack. Jack? I need you to wake up. Okay. You copy? Why am I, like, a pile of rocks? Oh, I left the wood on my bed. That's why. From before. That's what. Okay. Did I check anything first? Nobody's here. All right, I'm here. Jack, you copy? Uh, right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Oh, is his going out too? And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Okay. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? What if the guy is like just a vigilante, like smoky bear type character? Where, like, his methods are really bad, but he's trying to just stop forest fires. Because he seems to be going after all of the people who are in places they're not supposed to be. It appears to be your sector. Can you see the campsite from my end? Uh, let me have a look. Okay. Nick? What? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Connor, don't leave me alone. Don't run away this time. Take your photos and IDs. Connor. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay, so Connor's asleep now, and I'm screwed. That's all I'm hearing. Okay, so what do I need? My binoculars? I can't pick anything up, though, here. So where is it? Oh, there. Let me get my... I wish I could get my binoculars. It won't let me pick it up, though. Let me turn on the radio. Can I pick up anything else? I can. Well, maybe I need to get my binoculars from downstairs, because you can get some there. But I'd love to be able to see! Let me try one more time. Yeah, see? The little clicker isn't showing up. I can't pick up any of my things here. Okay, now I can pick it up. Connor was on the radio line. Okay, I don't care about Connor. Connor didn't care about me. Okay, tell you what. Die, blah, blah, why are you still up? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, bye, Connor. And then you're gonna be like, you know what? You do it all. 
Thank you. Okay, now we can actually look and check this campfire out. Let's gather. Guys. Do you think that's Connor? The only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Okay, so taking a picture, right? Space to take a photo. Okay. We gotta get everything right and shot. Do I have to do this quickly? Because the music is awful. Oh my god, this is so, like, scenic, even though it's, uh, bad. Ah! Your flash was on! Your flash was on! Is that someone walking? That's someone walking? Uh, right to hide. Hide, hide. I don't think we... Shift is red! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, I think I died. I think that means death. I should have stayed hidden. I thought I had to leave while he was, oh no! I thought I had to leave while he was out. All right, let's try it again. You know what, this time, since I've already died once, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and just book it downstairs first, even though that's probably not the best option. I just go. Oh no. Okay, so I have to make it. I almost did it. So I have to make it to the bathroom first. So we wait for him to go around there. He sees us. He goes, huh? <laughs> All right, I think I get it now, hopefully. <laughs>
Hey, was it Mitch the whole time? It was locked. Mitch, Mitch, you bitch. Mitch, you bitch. Mitch, you bitch. Where's my car? Car, car, car. Oh, there's no way. I didn't do it fast enough. I didn't do it fast enough. I don't want to replay it. I don't want to replay it. All right, drive. I blame Mitch. I blame, I blame Mitch. I blame Mitch. Do I have to play that whole thing again? Ah! Oh! This time we don't get distracted by Mitch. We just move on. Get to our car. Keep a level head. I think we do better when we're calm. And by we, I mean me. Okay, we just go. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. Close the door and drive. Oh my god, drive, 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 drive. <gasps> okay. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed an alert to the HQ. Look, Jack. We all get a little stir crazy out here. Mitch answered, Mitch! Mitch is in on it, I bet. <laughs> Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Is that it? Oh, and we get this nice camping screen. So what about the guy who hid in our bathroom? Survived through the fourth episode. Nice. That was a lot of fun. That chase sequence at the end, it was difficult, I think, because I panicked. Um, the other thing is, uh, if anybody plays this and like needs a tip for that end chase sequence, is like you can like continue holding uh, W to like go forward and the shift button at the same time instead of like stopping to see the little cutscene of him going, oh. oh and like looking around and stuff like that, just continuously run because it'll give you an extra one or two seconds, which is what I needed um, to be able to open the doors and get into them. Um, but once I figured that out, it was, it was great. Um, very scary. I liked it a lot. Oh, yeah. New Jacksepticeye was voicing it. Really cool. But yeah, I've really enjoyed these, these uh, games. They're quite a lot of fun. This one was um, different. But it's not, I don't think we've gotten one that's been like ghosts yet, right? I don't know that, well, it's on like psychological horror, which I guess um, can be based more around like the real life, real life scaries that happen. But yeah, that was Iron Bark Lookout. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to leave a like down in the video and let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm going to leave this here and say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. My born and Lana there, and I'll see you guys in hopefully the next and final question mark episode of Fears to Fathom, um, which is going to be the fifth episode. It should be exciting. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye. I did like that guy's boots. He had very fashionable like combat boots on. They were cute. Should have told him, but then he would have found me.